Welcome to Hurry Up Pinball, the show where I teach you how to work on your pinball machine. Today I will show you how to install a stern lighted shooter rod. So grab your tools and let's get going. Here you can see the stern lighted shooter rod we will be installing on Stranger Things. The package includes the shooter rod and housing, a new base plate, and a wiring harness. Before beginning this installation, make sure that the pinball machine is turned off. Now open the coin door, remove the lockdown bar, and remove the playfield glass. If you have cabinet protectors, install them at this time. These are not required, but they help protect the inside of your pinball cabinet when raising or lowering the playfield. If you need to move the pinball machine to gain access to the front right side of the pinball cabinet, do so at this time. Since we will be raising the playfield, I recommend placing a small towel or blanket on the back box to avoid scratching it or the apron. Now lift the playfield, rest it on the support brackets, and use the coil plunger to manually remove the pinballs from the machine. With the pinballs removed, Go ahead and completely raise the playfield. Here is a look at the old shooter housing and base plate we need to remove. This plate is held on by three screws as seen here. The base plate is held on by the two smaller screws at the bottom of the plate. Use your Phillips head screwdriver and remove the three Phillips head screws. While removing the last screw, be sure to hold the shooter rod on the outside of the cabinet so it doesn't fall. The top left screw close to the cabinet wall can be a little difficult to get to, so I would recommend pulling on the plunger and removing it first. Alternatively, you can remove the retaining clip and shooter rod from the housing to get better access to the upper left screw. With all three screws removed, slide the shooter rod and housing out of the pinball machine. To remove the shooter plate, you need to remove the two screws located here. Use your nut driver and remove the two screws at the bottom of the plate. Next, slide the lighted shooter rod housing into the pinball machine and put the base plate into position. Make sure to route one wire on each side of the new base plate before replacing the two screws at the bottom of the base plate. Make sure the wires are not getting pinched before you tighten down the two screws. After installing the base plate, install the three Phillips screws that hold on the housing. Make sure to use the proper size screwdriver so as not to strip the three Phillips screws. You can pull on the shooter rod to gain access to the upper left corner screw. I would recommend installing the center screw and right side screw prior to installing the left side cabinet wall screw. Here is how it should look with the lighted shooter rod installed along with the new base plate. Next, plug the supplied wiring harness into the shooter rod connector and use the wire looms to route the wires to the node board on the other side of the pinball cabinet. The wires will be connected to the node board on the right side of the pinball cabinet at CN15. Now move over to the other side of the cabinet and continue to route the wires as seen here, then plug the connector into CN15. Tidy up the slack in the wires if necessary. Here is how it should look when properly installed. With the lighted shooter rod installed, go ahead and completely lower the playfield at this time, and remove the cabinet protectors if you used them. Go ahead and turn on the pinball machine at this time. Let it boot up and check that the shooter rod lights up after the game has completed the startup process. If the shooter rod does not light up, I would recommend going back and checking the connection between the new shooter rod and the wiring harness and the wiring harness and the node board. Here you can see how the Stranger Things shooter rod lights up when functioning properly. If everything looks good, reinstall the pinballs, remove the blanket from the back box, reinstall the playfield glass and lockdown bar, 
and then close the coin door. Be sure to play a few test games to double check your work. This is Craig with Hurry Up Pinball, and I wanted to say thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, show your support for Hurry Up Pinball and click the subscribe button. We can also be found on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram under Hurry Up Pinball.